All right, folks, here's the challenge. Before you sort of brush this off as Pastor James is getting political again, you might want to listen to the end of this video because the implications of the news piece that I'm about to share with you are extreme and significant as it relates to Bible prophecy. Okay, so here's the headline, and this one, <laughs> it's a doozy. It says, New York City Democrats, yes, the most racist party in the country, grant voting rights to nearly 1 million non-citizens. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's no joke. 1 million non-citizens. And here's the part that's interesting. The part that gets crazy besides the fact that that is an absolutely crazy thing to do. I mean, this, has got, this guy has got the spirit of de Blasio all upon him, okay? And forget the fact that the security implications of this alone are absolutely insane. Consider what the Bible says is going to happen in the last days. First of all, we know that the United States isn't mentioned in Bible prophecy, so we know it's going to become inconsequential. And one of the fastest ways to develop an inconsequential nation from a superpower is to say, who cares about borders because borders are irrelevant. And on top of that, who cares about law and order because that's irrelevant because eventually we will rule things martially with an extreme tyrannical way of ruler, ruler, <laughs> rulership. Now, I want to just say this one thing. These people don't care about borders. They don't care about non-citizens voting because in their mind, and these are the, this is where the prophetic implications of this come in. Why would you need borders? And why would you need citizens versus non-citizens if we're all going to be one global force? If there will be no real border lines between our confederation of nations, why should we even have to worry about citizenship? That is the way the current ruling class thinks. And folks, that is going to be what is necessary so that the final Antichrist will be able to rule in his new global world order. That is the truth, and that is exactly where we are going. This goes beyond all kinds of Orwellian talk. This is reality. This is biblical talk, and this is where we're going. So, folks, when you begin to see news stories like this, understand Jesus is coming soon for us. But I want to give this caveat to you, and it's an important one. Just because we know Jesus is coming soon does not give us the justification to stop fighting. As a matter of fact, the knowledge that we have of the fact that Jesus is coming soon should be the very reason why we should be inspired to fight back concerning these things. And you folks that are in New York City, it is time to get very vocal about what is going on and to fight back. Pay attention to what's happening because we have an obligation. Jesus is coming soon. Hold the line. God is good. God bless you guys.